Hello, my hearties. A very, very good evening to you, my hearties. And welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClue Live. So much to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. So come and join us. Hello, Scotty. Are we well? Kareem, dinky do Well done, sir. You're absolutely off the mark tonight. Now, what I was thinking, guys, we've got a lot to talk about. So hence the random pop-up. We did one on Monday. This is Wednesday. Nothing gets past me. Wednesday evening, and it's uh, 17 minutes past eight on the 30th of March. 30th of March, 2022. I'll give you the year because you'd be amazed how quickly the time passes. We've got the phones open in a few minutes' time. And, um, well, in a few seconds' time, once I've told you uh, what we're talking about tonight, is it time to abandon the green agenda and go back to fossil fuels until the crisis is over? So there we are. So see if we can open a few mines, get some coal up there, get the coal-fired power stations that are left fired up. There we are. I always said we should never have demolished Long Annet in Scotland. We should have mothballed it in case we would have needed it. And, of course, it could have come in very, very handy now. So we're looking at that. So feel free to come and join us and tell us what is what. Uh, that would be lovely. What football team do you support? I don't support any financially at the moment. There we are. Uh, lots and lots of you. Hey, Scotty. Hey, Nat. How lovely to have you with us. Uh, who else have we got? Nat says, have you given anyone thought to adopting me? Thank you, dear Mr. McClue. How are you this fine evening? Good, sir. Fat Joker with a PH. How lovely to hear from you and a big dinky do. There's the wonderful Andrew Downey. What day are we off uh, for the Jubilee for Her Majesty Scotty? Ooh, I would need to check. I would imagine it's June, is it not? Uh, good evening, Sir Scotty. Thank you, Darren. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I shall just say good evening to everybody on the super chat tonight because so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Now, there's a guy called Shay who says, you're a blether. Well, Shay, why are you watching? I would imagine you're absolutely captivated. So there we are. So you're a blether. There we are. You're a legend, Scotty. Thank you, Nat. Where in Scotland do you live on the West Coast? Karim is sending me gifts on the TikTok. He's sending me a mini speaker. He's sending me uh, wishing wells. He's sending me GGs. He's sending me a oh, wishing bottle. He's sending me TikToks. He's sending me red roses. How good is that, Karim? I thank you so much. That's wonderful. Uh, I usually put my ear pods in when listening to Scotty, but I've got an ear infection and I feel terrible. I couldn't miss your show, Biggin. Not at all, Neely David Cooper McCallum. How lovely to have you with us and Dinky Do. Good evening, Sir Scotty. Good evening, Darren and Dinky Do to you. I was going to say good evening to everybody, so I'll just do that. Good evening, everyone. Not the best typist, actually, to be honest with you, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that's the important thing. Good evening, everyone, and we'll give you a dinky do. It's hyphenated for those of you that have never seen it written down. There it is on the super chat every day. Good evening, and dinky do from Scotty McClure. It just says host. There we are. Kareem, thank you so much for all your gifts. Follow me, guys, as soon as you come on to the old TikTok. Get following right away because uh, this is very, very big. A thousand likes. I thank you. We've uploaded some new TikTok videos and some new YouTube videos on the YouTube channel. So don't miss any of these. Good evening, Scott. You're looking well, good sir. Paul J., I thank you. Hello, everyone, says Kareem. Chris says, good evening from me from TikTok. Uh, fantastic stuff. Dinky do. He's on TikTok and he's also posting on YouTube. Uh, dear Sir Scotty, why are you overweight? Says Che. Che, I think we're going to dump you. I'm not overweight. I'm under height. If I was 12 foot six, I'd be absolutely spot on. So there we are. Shall we dump Che, do you think, guys, for being a half witted idiot? Yes. Bye bye, Che. Lifetime ban down the river. Swanee with you, la la. There we are. You're either with us or you're a Guinness 
and I don't think you know which way you are. Fantastic. That's the end of she. There we are. We're on the West Coast, uh, just not too far from Glasgow on the West Coast. Fantastic. Hi, Kareem. How are you, says Susan? Hi, Susan. I hope you're okay tonight. How are you, my good man, says Darren? Hi, Scotty, says Susan. Hi, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to everybody on the TikTok, on the YouTube, on the Facebook Live. Yes, that's what it's all about. And I think we're even live on LinkedIn. Is that not beautiful? Uh, big you mad, Scotty. Yes, big you mad yourself. Follow us as soon as you possibly can. So there we are. And what have you got here? Um, I got robbed at the supermarket yesterday. And uh, the police arrived. When I calmed down, they came to help. The officers asked, do you know who robbed you? I said, yes, pump two. <laughs> Sorry, not been in touch, Scott. You've been getting the caravan ready for the season ahead. What's your times for your show? Well, the main time is Saturday night at 9 p.m. Every Saturday night, 9 p.m. sharp. But what we've been doing, Andrew, is a couple of random pop-ups just to say hi to everybody and to say dinky-doo from Scotty McClue, hashtag, Float I, first lord of the internet. Can I say to you, can you all follow me on TikTok? Very important, at Scotty McClue. So if you've got a TikTok account, it's worth actually opening up one to join Scotty McClue. Follow at Scotty McClue. Always follow, guys. And uh, for those of you who can get on to YouTube, if you go to Scotty McClue, the internet, phone in and subscribe and tap the bell, You'll see the number for the phone in. Hello, La. How's you? Martin, dinky do. We're going to open up the phone lines, guys, so we can have a bit of chat with every single one of you. So if you can see the number across the bottom of your screen on the YouTube channel, then feel free to give us a call. That's what it's all about, I say. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, dinky do, Kareem. Now, Kareem, if you read any criticism of your good self, just ignore it. Because I notice there's a few people saying, oh, what's Kareem on about? This guy's boring. Get him off. Ignore all that. If I had a pound for every time somebody told me my show was SH1 or, uh, you know, uh, I was boring, or uh, why did I go on, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we've just sent that wee shade in the swanee for just being yeah. an idiot, you know? I, I, I think this is so many people angry and just just really, really moan, 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 and moan for the sake of moaning. Yes, angry and yeah. jealous, Kareem. Uh, I'll see? give you an example, Scotty. Like, today there was a... A comment about um, a folk council, uh -huh. and just to do with, with, with like with elections coming up, and I, I made the comment which I've made before that how well if this minister keeps cutting the the budget, how do you expect councils to keep uh, providing the same service? Yes. And, oh, oh, I was shot down left, right, and centre, um, and I didn't. It annoyed me at first, then I thought, do you know what? These people are just being bitter. They're being very, very bitter. What about this? Good evening, hashtag floatai. Kareem is not boring. Kareem rocks. So there you are. And that comes from Urican. Yeah, thank you. You see, so so that's what you're up against. So, I mean, a lot of these people just wish they were you. They thoroughly enjoy your calls and they wish they were you. Things, Scotty. Yes. Um, because I know you'll have other callers coming on. I find your, what you've said the first thing tonight about the, the energy. Yes. Um, I think they have to start putting the taxes on these big companies. Um, if you look at, and I'm not going to name the. the no, no, we're not name them, but they're making billions in well, profit. I'll quote the CEO without naming who it was, but they've said they're making so much money at the moment, they just do not know what to do with it. Here's a guy called James. He says, do you actually say anything of importance? James, every time I open my mouth, it's important. Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. 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 So, so yes. So the CEO 
Uh, no, these people need told straight, Kareem. So the CEO uh, is making so much money at the moment. The, the, the whole company, I, I mean, I won't name it, but you'll know it. It's very yes. annoying, but they said that they, they just make so much money at the moment, they just don't know what to do with it. And I'm thinking they're going to have families now from after this end of this week yep. now going to be struggling. Actually to take a things. good whack of it and say, listen, we're a fat cat at the moment. You guys are having a thin time. Free energy for the next two years. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it will definitely have a knock-on effect because at the moment, not straight away, but these big companies and the, the shareholders and CEOs, they're going to be making I mean, profits that you could only dream of. But that's not going to last forever. No, no they'll, they'll, they'll need the people at some point. They need the people now. I mean, even a small shift in people's uh, use of energy could make a huge difference and put the boot straight onto the other foot. Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I'm thinking as well, so more that the other people, like powerful people in the world of business, within retail, with hospitality, they're going to get shafted in a couple of months' time yes. in terms of people are not going to spend. And if they're not going to spend, they're going to lose money. Correct. And people are going to lose jobs. So it's going, it will have a knock-on effect. Correct. Of um, course it will. And that's, and that's going to be a problem. But you see, if we bring in... You see, when I was young, uh, yeah. every town and village had got a gasometer, yeah. a gasometer, yeah. a great big floating tank that worked on the scientific principle of the like the diving bell, it was upside down, and it was filled with locally produced town gas. Uh -huh. And then we went on to North Sea gas, and they had to add a smell to it because there was no smell off North Sea gas. Town gas, you could smell it passing the gasometer. You see, ooh, does anybody smell gas today? Yeah, I think they've just filled up the gasometer. Yeah. And when I was young, steering the boats across the Clyde, we used to use the gasometer in Helensborough as a landmark. Right. So we would steer towards the gasometer and then steer up Sinclair Street. Yeah. And that would yeah. take us into line with Helensborough Pier. Yeah. Well, I think they're going to need to do a lot of these, a lot of the things that work old fashioned. I think they're going to have to bring this back. Like what you said the other night, Scotty, we will. I think this is something that these things are going to need yes. to be brought back if we need a, a serious chance to fight against yes. the cold. And the, town, and the town council controlled the gas company. Mm -hmm. So your gas was on the town, so the price would be very reasonable. And also the water company, we could actually call in. As a little boy, my father took me up to the water board. Uh -huh. And I could I could see the water department. You know, it was fantastic. Yeah, uh, just good times. So to my second point, very quickly, and I know it's slightly off topic, but I know you'll be reading about it, that the, there's ministers, uh, West ministers, ministers are furious with the devolved uh, nations of the Scottish government and West, uh, and sorry, Wales, mm -hmm. because of the, the Queen's. Did you believe it? Sorry, her, the, the celebration. Yes, the yes, Queen's, the Queen's uh, the Queen's platinum jubilee, seventy years on the throne. The, 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 there's schools not adding the books that they, they've developed for the curriculum to to celebrate this event. Mm -hmm. Um, um, there's a lot of places not going to actually be given these books or going over it within the curriculum in the schools. Uh, and it'd be interesting to see your thoughts. So maybe that should be left for Saturday night then. Yeah, um, we might we might discuss that one Saturday, Karim. I think we'll stick with the energy tonight because there's a number of things that could be done. And I think if we said, look, let's abandon all the green stuff just now, and stick with the fossil fuels till we get the prices right down. Well, can I leave you with a thought then regarding that? If you look at Europe and the majority of the countries in Europe, although they are still having the massive increases as well, mm. they have capped the increase 
three or four percent regardless yeah. so uh, people's bills are going up three or four percent and the governments are forking out the rest however here in the uk um we are 54 percent and then october it's talking about going up another 50 percent no so no. i'll leave that out there with that, that that's a piece of we shall put that out there kareem absolutely and listen a joy to hear you as always Thank you, Scotty. Thank you for having me. Thank you, and you, Kareem. I thank you for your call, sir. There we are. What an absolute top man. That's our Kareem. Very, very interesting. And uh, who have we got here? Evening hugs your way. Thank you, Kirkwood Von Sterling. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Just scrumbled, stumbled across yourself. Haven't heard you for years. You've still got it. Please can anyone in the comments be nice to the plus size host? So there we are. Scotty Dinky do listen on the TikTok. There's a guy who was the butler for the Queen. Scotty, how do you feel about the face masks? So there we are. Let's get back to the telephones here. What's going on? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty Lala. It's Martin. Hello, Lala. How are you tonight? How are you? It's, um, it's um, snowing at the moment. Oh, it's snowing, Martin. I know. It came on around 5 o'clock. You know, I was at the dentist this afternoon, and then oh, yeah. when I came out, it was it was coming on. So, so probably around around four o'clock, it was starting to flurry. Wow! Wow! Yeah, and it was actually looking. I don't know the say. I don't know how true this will turn out to be. That, but they were saying that the good weather had brought the ground temperature up, and it was unlikely it would lie to any great wow. extent. Yeah. What about that now? How about that, Lala? Yes. Yeah. You see? So, um, how's your um, how's your week been going? Oh, my week has been absolutely outstanding. But I had to pop up the other night because of what happened at the Oscars, and I thought I'd pop up tonight so we can see if we can nail this energy thing. Yes. Oh. You know, I think I think that's very important because we can't keep forking out like this while people make billions. Yes. It's wrong. The imbalance has gone too far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can't have that. Uh, I was watching uh, Take the High Road. How fantastic is that? Good, same, same. I am still on the episodes of Emma's Cuff before as well. So. Uh huh. Excellent, so, Martin. Yes, uh, keep going with it. And how's Emma doing? Is she okay? Oh, fantastic, Martin. You're some man, I shall tell you, and a big dinky doo to you. Thank you, Scotty. Love you, um, love you lots, Lala. Love you lots, Lala. We'll catch up soon, and thank you for your wonderful call. That's our Martin. Uh, so there we are. Scotty, how do you feel about the face masks going? Well, uh, it's an interesting one, that, you know. Um, I've never really been too bothered. I've had the face mask on. And, uh, you know, if it's any help, if it's any protection to myself, to other people, to other people, to myself, whichever way you want to put it, uh, you know, wonderful stuff. Scotty, thanks again for your recommendations of the movie Tunes of Glory. Fantastic. Scottish Eddie Boy. Is that not just something else? A wee hidden gem. Hi from the United States of Alva. The Hills of Alva, one of the finest pipe tunes I've ever heard. Thank you, dear. We are the people, says user 347. We are all the people, user 347. Of course, if you were saying that in a football uh, setup, then we would have to say Mon the Hoops. Very important. Good evening, Scotty. The weather is turning dinky do. No, Neil, the weather's turning the opposite of dinky do. It's been dinky do for the last week. Now, there we are. SPF. L. He says, there's a smell off your breath. SPFL, you mustn't assume everybody else has your lifestyle. There we are. You mustn't judge other people by yourself. So we'll send you down the swanee for life for being cheeky. There we go. Fantastic. Hope your day is going great. God bless you. Absolutely. And you, sir, I say to you, is it true everything repeats itself? Well, Scotty McClure doesn't repeat himself, but everything else can do. Scottish water. I have it here. How fantastic is that? Aqua, Adam's ill. Mm -hmm. Oh.
That's absolutely gorgeous. Now, what I've done, guys, I've opened up the phone lines. Let's see what the chat's saying here. Hello, Lala. How's you, Martin and Emma? Permission to land, Scotty? Yes, go ahead, please. Runway 30 should be nice and clear. Come in at your own speed. We have you on visual. Over. Uh, hello, pal. Hope you've had a good day. Absolutely, Thomas Hamilton. Dinky do this. Kirsty. Hi, Scotty. Hi, everyone. Kirsty, I can't thank you enough for your kindness the other night in sending me five pounds on the YouTube channel. That was just so kind of you. You must have tapped the dollar. Uh, Kareem always makes a good point about everything. Susan, he does. And he's a fabulous caller. And, uh, you know, just these half-witted idiots that were giving him a hard time, I do not know what they are thinking of or where they are coming from. Now, can we share this stream? Have I got a share here? Hold on, guys. I think we should all be sharing the stream if you possibly can. So if you can see share there, get that shared big style. Uh, there we are. Dinky News is Alan. Dinky do Alan. Just got a bag of coal today for £23. For goodness sake, Magnus, I can go back to 10 and sixpence a bag and 12 and sixpence a bag for grade A. So 10 and six bins would be 52 and a half P for a bag of coal. And grade A would be uh, 62 and a half P for grade A coal that burned beautifully. Barnsley, Barnsley scene. Skipper Scotty, back in the day then, dinky do, I say to you, fantastic stuff. Thank you, Tower. Come on, Scotty, thought you didn't support football and then you dropped the hoops comment. You're somehow... No, uh, Neil David Cooper McCallum, I was only in the interest of balance because somebody had dropped the uh, we are the people comment. You see what I'm saying? And we like to be fair on here. Mazard says, hi, Scotty Dinky Doo. Thank you, Susan. Says, Kareem, not at all, Kareem. You deserve the best of everything. There we are. But bang out of order, says Unicorn. Absolutely, Unicorn. Let's get them. Honda. Hondan, thank you for my beautiful red roses. You're very, very kind. All you TikTokers. By the way, TikTokers, 2,100 likes. And I have uploaded, uploaded for you, right, some new videos on TikTok and also some new videos on YouTube. Now, uh, I'm going to give you a task, two tasks, right? And they're not terribly difficult. One is that you follow me on TikTok right now by popping up to the top left and clicking the plus. And it will say, follow the host. The other thing is you go on to YouTube. You can just put it into your search engine, YouTube, Scotty McClure, the internet phone in, subscribe and tap the bell, right? We want subscribers going up and up and up and up. There we are. Mother does Murray on Twitch. Murray, how fantastic. If you're watching on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Check it out now. Uh, and follow me on TikTok at Scotty McClue. Check it out now. Where, were you a bad boy at Christmas when you were guaranteed coal? Uh, well, you don't want to put the coal on when Santa's coming down the chimney. You can't even whack it. The Scottish water says, Eddie, did you enjoy the Oscars? I think Will Smith was right to slap him. No, I'm sorry, AFC. I don't think anybody is ever right to be violent at all, but particularly in a top social setting when the world's media is watching. So there we are. So I was not impressed at all by that. But the thing is, uh, you know, should he be sanctioned? Uh, should he become a name of the past? Somebody said there was an actor, I can't remember his name, and he slapped the comedian at the Oscars about 20 or 30 years ago. That sort of thing. You see what I mean? Uh, I had to follow the coal train and pick up the lumps as they fell off with a bit of help from yours truly. Yes, it did, Mr. Martin. Indeed, fantastic. Uh, quite often the miners, when they were in strike, would go and get their own stuff. Uh, now, who have we got here? Um, are you the Prime Minister? Uh, no, I'm not the Prime Minister. Although I was, 
uh, recounting today when I once got a call saying, would you be willing to have your photo taken with the prime minister? And I thought, just, it's just incredible. Uh, there we are. The problem with Irish history, Scotty, uh, so there we are, is that the IRA is massively involved in it quite a lot. Yeah, Pinky, but so is lots of other things involved. Uh, you know, the black and tans are part of Irish history as well. Winston Churchill is part of Irish history, you know, because they all sort of um, put their ten penneth in. And you can go right back to top aristocrats in the 14 and 1500s in Ireland. You know what I mean? But uh, they need to sort all that out. Scotty, may I introduce myself? My name is Flying Norseman. Flying Norseman, you need absolutely no introduction on here. We know you and we love you. So there you are. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Now then, lots of beautiful messages on the YouTube. I thank you. Uh, good morning, Scotty from Australia. Dinky Doo, how's the first lord of the internet? And lots of lovely people on Facebook Live. Scott about his Facebook Live and lots of beautiful TikTokers. It's huge, guys. This is huge. Can everybody have a massive share of whichever platform they're watching on right now? Tremendous. I must admit, I'd have done the same as Mr. Smith, but I would have at least um, hit him better. I don't think he was right. Uh, he wasn't having his wife slagged off. No, the guy was wrong to slag the guy's wife off, but it was uh, ostensibly a joke, uh, you know, but should it have been taken as a joke? That's what we wonder. And did it actually even mean what he thought it meant? So there we are. Dinky do. Craig Brown, a lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Frank Meyer, so good to have you watching in Australia, down under. Scotty McClure, the voice of the nation. Absolutely, Eddie boy. We are VON, voice of nation. That's what a voice of all nations, right? V O A N, VON. There we are. Snow day coming up, I think, so, Joey. That's crazy, says AFC Stevie. I know. Water pump power. Well, user, water power, the start of the mills. Now, let's not underestimate, why don't we get water wheels turning modern generators? Yes, and uh, have free energy. There we are. We should not be paying through the nose, and nobody should ever have the people over a barrel. That's unacceptable. So there we are. Thank you, dude. How's your day been, Sparkles? My day has been outstanding. I have met so many interesting people today. Very, very clever people. Follow us, guys. Dinky do. Can you do a flip only with a fiver? Uh, Scotty, can I please have another recommendation for a movie? Yes. What about when eight bells toll? When eight bells toll. And Alistair McLean, along the lines of the guns from Navarone, Force 10 from Navarone, Ice Station Zebra, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, I would certainly recommend that one. That's a cracker. So there you are. Must admit, yes, absolutely. But nearly David Cooper, yes. But we can't have violence in a social setting. It's unacceptable. Think of the beautiful people that attend the Oscars that would never, ever, ever misbehave. You see what I mean? And there's no doubt that these people the other night misbehaved. But did they both? Or did just one of them? There we are. Now, what do we got here? Share the live as soon as you can. Guys, if you're looking for a brilliant movie, get on to YouTube and look up Tunes of Glory, set in a Scottish regiment following the Second World War. Cheers from Philadelphia and Pennsylvania, Scotty. Dinky do. Rue Daddy, cheers to you. So lovely to have you with us from the United States of America. Scotty McClue is massive. Massive in the United States of America. I'm going to share this, guys. Can we all share the TikTok? I may disappear for a second or two, right? But I'll just put live now. Here it comes. There we go. Live now. Wonderful. 
How fantastic is that? Live now. That's it, guys. It's gone. It's sending. Now, what I need to know is, did I disappear at all? Uh, dinky do everybody. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Sir Halls. Uh, hey, did you try logging into TikTok and laptop by typing it into Google? I shall do, Scottish Eddie boy, but I don't think you can broadcast on the computer uh, live. I don't think you can live stream on it, but I shall find out because things move fast. Everybody on TikTok, everybody with an internet connection should be following Scotty McClue. Get yourselves on to YouTube. Scotty McClue, the internet phone in. Get yourselves on to Scotty McClue on Facebook. Get yourselves on to Scotty McClue on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. Get yourselves on to Scotty McClue on Twitch. I would like every single one of you to try the Twitch feed right now. Scotty underscore McClue at Twitch. All right. Hashtag Flotoy. A tune on the box. We may do that. I must admit, oh yes, absolutely. Who else have we got here? This is huge, guys. Let's just see what's happening with all the comments. Yes, you came back on. Excellent stuff. Just became a top viewer. Fantastic. The PM states were self-sufficient in power, gas, and oil. So why are we paying more? Absolutely. I say I think if we abandon the green agenda, even for five years till the prices drop again, then we can look at going green. You know, that would be the thing. Fantastic. Scotty, I love you. Thank you, Albrecht. You are very, very kind. There we are. There's lots of beautiful, beautiful people on here, I can tell you. We just got rid of a few idiots straight down this morning earlier. So that was rather good. Good evening, Scotty. I hope you're well. Good evening, Scotty. Drewski, the real Rudy and Drewski have just joined us, guys. Thank you very much. Can everybody get following? as soon as you can, and if you possibly can, if you're a human being, a member of the human race, or a well-behaved outsider, or a member of the animal kingdom, go to YouTube, Scotty McClue, the internet, phone in, and subscribe, and tap the bell. I've got 3,400 likes. You're all very, very kind. Scotty, my man, it's Rabin Kangas, Cambers Lang. Cambers Lang, Robert, lovely to have you with us. Do you know the halfway? The halfway in Cambers Lang. Evening, Scotty. What's going on, big man? Well, Grace Cell, uh, G R E Y C E L L. So much happening. 3,600 likes for starters. Wonderful. Has everybody gone tap, 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 tap on the TikTok? Dinky do, Scotty McClue, Mr. Man. How lovely to have you with us. What do you think about Will Smith hitting that guy? I thought it was bang out of order rap. Violence is never the answer. There we are. Celtic or Rangers, says Daily Dose of Mems. Daily Dose of Mems, if I were you and you're looking for a football team, go and see them both play and then make your mind up. You know, that's the best thing you can do. I wouldn't mind a few Scottish classics on the box, Scotty. Please get the box out. We will, Millie, we will. Scotty, imagine you're in a solid concrete room, no light, no air, no way out. What do you do? Uh, you, uh, you settle down and read one of the many books that somebody will have left. There we are, fantastic stuff. And conserve your energy. Uh, well, remember the black hole of Calcutta? And somebody actually survived by chewing and sucking his shot. So there's a thought for you. But don't panic, because uh, we're not in that room. I can tell you that right now. Have you ever been to the Shetland Islands? No, I haven't, Liam. That's a luxury that up until now I've denied myself. But we have so many wonderful Shetlanders on here. And if you want to see some wonderful music, put in Peter Wood and Davy Hunter. Right? Put that into your YouTube. Peter Wood and Davy Hunter, Scottish music. Peter Wood is the most fantastic accordion player, and Davy Hunter is the most amazing bagpipe player. The bagpipes with the wee arm bellows that you see him doing that, and it is just brilliant. 
So there we are. We love that. That's what it's all about, I say. So I haven't been to the Shetland Islands, but I'd love to go. Uh, no, you stop imagining. No, you stop imagining, Mr. Martin. Down the Swanee with them. Absolutely. I believe Ireland should be back under the crown. I think it's the best way forward. Yes, but would you would all of Ireland want to be under the crown? And would the crown want to pick up the tab, the bill? Uh, so there we are. Is Cambers Lang the biggest village in Britain? Ooh, I think, do you mean gossip-wise? <laughs> Bit of fun. Well, it's next to the Royal Borough of Rutherglen. So there we are. Dinky-doo. Uh, the uh, conservative cartels allowing Robert Barons to steal. Hey, there we are. There's an opinion for you. Irish, says True Patriot. Quite right, True Patriot. We're all Irish to a greater or lesser extent. I say to you, dinky do lala. Uh, going on all the platforms, beachy beachy. Have you checked them out? Beachy beachy. Have you checked out TikTok? Have you checked out? Daily Doze is sending me beautiful, beautiful red roses. Clive Smith is sending me red roses. Clive, I thank you. I thank you, Daily Doze, for your kindness. Guys, you guys on TikTok and YouTube, you have been so kind to me. The other night, we had people tapping the dollar bill at the bottom left of the chat on the YouTube. Amazing. And I didn't know until later. You're only a prisoner in your own mind. Absolutely, Mr. Martin. Time to be free. That's what it's about. Daily dose, I thank you for all these beautiful gifts. Hi, sir, says Jason. Jason Dinky do. Lovely to have you. Sure have. And Facebook la. Ah, beachy, beachy. We're live on Facebook. Have you tried Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue? Has everybody subscribed to the YouTube channel? Has everybody followed on TikTok? That's what we are asking. Wonderful, wonderful response. Uh, yes, the old squeeze box. Right. Does everybody want the squeeze box? We've got to all agree. If we're all agreed, if I get enough people, then we'll go for that. We're nearly at 5,000 likes, guys. Now, this is uncanny. Have you watched every single one of the TikTok videos? If you've not, then you're robbing yourself blind of an opportunity for joy. Have you been on to YouTube and watched all the videos? Scotty McClure, the internet phone in, and subscribed and tapped the bell. Yes. Is Glenn on tonight? Shaz, he hasn't been on as yet. Good evening, all says Shazney. Shazney, good evening to you. Uh, yes, the old squeeze box. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Right, I need a follow fest on TikTok right now and a subscribe fest on the YouTube channel. I'm going to sip some water. If you all get on with that, then we'll have a wee interlude. Then we might have a tune on the box. Deal? Deal. Yes, that's what it's all about, I see. Right. Are you all subscribing because I'm watching? Are you following me? Beachy, Beachy, thank you for your beautiful TikToks. You're a very, very, very kind man. Most Scots believe the union will be over in five years and the energy increases. I was thinking today there has never, ever, ever been a positive case for the union made. And it can't be made. And there has never, ever been a negative case made for Scottish independence. And it can't be made because it would be the right thing to do. You know, it's like that lovely bit in the wonderful Winnie the Pooh by Alan Milne. And uh, let's go home, Piglet, said Pooh. Why are we going home, Pooh, said Piglet. Because it's the right thing to do, said Pooh. <laughs> How fabulous is that? Dilly Dose, thank you for my red roses. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely thing to do. Love the bagpipes. Get your squeeze box out and give us the Dark Island. I used to love going to Jimmy Blair's School of Music when I learned to play the box. David Lafferty, how lovely. I can't give you the Dark Island because we'd be hit with a copyright strike. Do you remember when we had the wonderful Linda that had been the accordionist from the BBC's Tutti Frutti? Now, 
she used to come on to the radio. She was a friend of Anna's. And uh, she would come on to the radio and play. Now, that was great because the radio had a license for all the copyrights. Whereas on here, I don't have that, so I can't play the Dark Island. I could give you an old traditional tune. So there we are. If Will Smith did that to you, Scotty, would you give him the Glasgow kiss? Well, Mr. Martin, all I can say is I do not believe in violence, but all I can say is it would be very tempting. So there you are. But I wouldn't like to put my career on the line by sticking the heat on a guy. And so there we are. That's what I would say to you, Dinky Do. I don't believe in it. Get a duet going with David Scotty. Thank you, Neely David Cooper. Uh, how good is that, Neely David Cooper? McCallum. Ian Charles Scott from New York City. Hello, Scotty. Wake mother Marjorie's wrist is slowly getting better. Brother David Graham Scott is waiting on her hand and foot to help her recovery. Please send prayers again. Love, Scotty, too. There's the wonderful Ian Charles Scott in America. Did we say New York City, Ian, or do I get, do I always get that wrong? Uh, or was it the Bronx? Or is it Staten Island? Uh, there we are. Fantastic. Anyway, he's in a very important part of America right now. His mum is in week and she fractured her wrist. And we sent prayers from Scotty McClue live. And he said it was having a positive effect. Isn't that beautiful? So there we are. Lots and lots of lovely responses from you gorgeous people. Ireland is someone else's country. Nothing to do with us. Andrew, what do you mean us? Ireland and its health, well-being, and welfare are to do with everyone in the world. Uh, there we are. My wife does, says Mr. Martin. Uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Good, Ian. So I wasn't too far out. Ian's in Brooklyn, guys. Can we please send love, blessings, strength, and prayers to uh, Ian's mother, who's in wick, recovering from a wrist injury. Yes, yeah, she broke her wrist, bless her. And uh, Ian's brother, David Graham Scott's looking after her. We love it. Thank you, David Graham Scott. And love to you, mother. You get strong. We'll get you playing the piano with that wrist yet. Scotty McClure can teach people to play the piano in seven minutes. Go on to YouTube and put in Scotty McClure Piano. Yes, and take a lesson, seven minutes out of your life, uh, the best seven minutes you could ever spend apart from watching live right now. Uh, what have we got here? Clive Smith has just become a top two viewer. Isn't that beautiful? T Clive Smith has just become a top one viewer. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, Staten Island's where they put all the landfill, says Mr. Martin. You've spelt it wrong. You put two T's O N. It's E N S T S T A T E N, isn't it? Uh, can you give a shout out to William? Says Jason. Of course we can, Jason. There we are. Uh, thank you for the hand wave. Thank you for my tennis balls daily dose. Thank you for a mini speaker and for a wishing bottle. Guys, if you've got any spare TikToks and you want to send them this way, feel free to do so. I am so touched by the generosity of all you beautiful people. We'll get it again on the Chopin, absolutely. The Chopin, the Chopin board, the Chopin board, the Chopin board. I see where you're coming. I see what you just did there, Ian Charles Scott, over in Brooklyn, in New York. Hello from sunny Pitlochry, Scotty. Hi, B. Dave. How are things in Pitlochry? Were you up the Tom Lacroix? Were you up the Mullen Road? Have you been at the Lower Oak Field? Ah, yes, indeed. Have you been up the main street? Have you been up to Kille Cranky? Uh, have you gone over to the port? Uh, I haven't seen the Benny Hill show since the 1970s. Do you think things like the Benny Hill show should come back and people can watch if they want to? Deal? You know? Uh, what about that? Why should somebody say, oh, we're not sure if it's too politically correct? There we are. You are great. You're a legend in your own lunchtime. 
Only joking, you're great, says Kevin. Kevin, I thank you very much. You're very, very kind. Sending prayers to Ian's mum to get well soon, says Susan. Susan, bless you. And we send love and blessings to you, Susan, because we know you've had a very, very difficult time recently. There we are. Deal, mate. Right, Robert, thank you. There we are. Uh, I was never good in the music class, piano, guitar, anything like that, but I was the best triangle player in the West. Starman in the Christmas show, primary seven. It's all about timing, Scotty. It's all about timing. So you would go, um, once in Royal David City stood a lowly cattle shed. Yes, absolutely. That's what it's all about. On the old triangle, yes, for the squeeze box, says Angela. Right, we'll do the squeeze box. Why don't we do the squeeze box in five minutes' time? Guys, would you like a tune on the squeeze box in five minutes' time? I have the squeeze box handy. There it is, so you can see it. All right, there's the evidence. Would you like a tune? You'll have to put something in the comments if you'd like a tune. Excellent stuff. Thank you, dude. That's what it's all about, I say. We'll give you a tune on the squeeze box. Yes, for the squeeze box. Robert McNaughton's asking a question. Dunno, why so many Scots go to Blackpool in the summer? Because they absolutely love it. And it was traditional during the Glasgow Fair for a party of Glasgow police to go to Blackpool to take care of the Scots. Ah, uh, right here you come here and out. All that stuff. So the Glasgow police, uh, the Scottish police were on duty uh, in Blackpool. And of course, I used to broadcast to Blackpool and would go to Blackpool every weekend. It was fantastic. Loved it. Uh, there we are. Uh, I don't know. It's just a nice place to be. It's quite fun. I mean, it has a tough time. Like David Jason and Only Fools and Horses. Thank you, Stephen. You're very, very kind and a big dinky do to you. I say, if you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. We've got about another 10 minutes. This was a random pop-up on Wednesday evening. It's just gone three minutes past nine. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Follow us as soon as you can. Has everybody watching on TikTok actually followed? Actually do it, guys. Don't think, oh. I'll get around to that at some point. Actually, just do it. I think you go to the top left, and you will see a little plus sign. And if you click that, then you can come on. It's just amazing. That's what we think. Now then, who else have we got here? Lovely, lovely. Any snow up north, Scotty? Yes. Tim, we've had snow this afternoon from about 4 o'clock-ish. So there you are. I had to go to the dentist. And you'll see I've made a video on TikTok for you. So you can have a look. Thank you for sending me these beautiful gifts, guys. BRAD919. Thank you. Tune on the box, says Beachy Beachy. St. Anne's is the best. I know, Lytham St. Anne's. I used to take Lord Reith the Labrador. I was on Red Rose Radio in Lancashire 30 years ago this June. 30 years ago in two months' time. Eight weeks' time. Scotty McClure was live on Red Rose Radio, one of the finest radio stations. Who's just sent me a huge pair of sunglasses? All the best. Get well soon. Thank you, Robert. You're wonderful. I don't drink, says Mr. Martin. You don't have to drink in Blackpool. Uh, how are you doing, Scotty? I've just tuned in. Tad, how lovely to have you with us. And a massive dinky do to you. We've got seven and a half thousand likes. I think we could do 10,000 before we finish up in about 10 minutes' time. That would just be amazing. Tune on the box. Scotty, how are you this Wednesday evening, my friend? I hope you're doing okay. Click start, my dear friend. Lovely to have you with us and welcome. Welcome, welcome. We've been talking about energy tonight. Guys, feel free to give us a call at some point as well. You'll see the number if you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. You'll see the number right across the bottom of the screen, and you can give us a quick call. We've had a couple of calls tonight already, and it was lovely. We had Kareem and we had Martin on. Uh, so uh, do feel free. I'm going to give you a wee tune on the box. Uh, there we are. Just became a top viewer, says Daily Dose of Mems. 
Energy is running out of time. Yeah, but I wonder, we do need to survive and we shouldn't be paying high prices. So I think if we put the green agenda on hold for, say, I don't know, five years, maybe five, five years, um, and see if we can get these prices down, bring back town gas uh, as an emergency thing, build the gasometers. Um, Lewis, the island of Lewis, they're suffering fuel poverty. Now, the government should be stepping in there. Think about it. If you go to the Isle of Lewis, I haven't been, but I've been told it's very, very windy. Wind power should be almost free. Wave power should be almost free. Uh, you know, generators, all that sort of thing. Oil. There's oil in the North Sea off the coast of Lewis. They should have free oil for heating. Uh, how dare you say I've had too many beers? There's Mr. Mark to Robert. There, ooh, there's a, a fight going on, guys, on the, on the super chat. There we are. Right. Um, now, what have we got? Uh, energy increase. I'll have to fine you if you fight. You'll have to put $5 into the dollar bill at the bottom left. Uh, we're all going to be poor without power. Oh, absolutely. We need to get our power. But we could probably be more economical with it. Hi, says Dan Knight. I've never seen you before, but I'm from Essex. Well, if you're from Essex, there's a lot of things you won't have seen before. But it's lovely to have you with us. Which part of Essex are you in? Are you in Epping? Are you in Colchester? You know, we love it down there from Essex. Yeah, Essex. Uh, do you reckon Will Smith, Chris Rock, Oscar set, was set up or was it real? Well, we don't know. That's an interesting one. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hiya, Scotty. Dinky do. Hey, Glenn. Dinky do. Lala. How are you tonight? I'm not so bad myself. Just oh. relaxing with my girlfriend and the baby's asleep on me now. The baby's asleep. Oh, well, we'll have to keep our voice down a bit, Glenn. Scotty, um, energy supplies, isn't it? Yeah. Slide Yeah, that's that's the problem. Them. They've got us with shorts and curlies, aren't they? Well, they have a bit, but you think about it. You're in Sheffield there, right? I'm so in the Midlands, you're, Scotty, aren't I? You're, well, you're in the Midlands. Even better. Derbyshire? Yeah. Right? So you're sitting on some of the finest coal ever. So why don't we open a couple, sink a couple of shafts, open up the old mines? Could do, yeah. Yeah, get some of the old miners back in an advisory capacity. Get the youngsters working down the mines and start producing coal. I mean, we used to produce 75% of the world's coal. How about that? Well, I mean, it would it, well, it'd be amazing. I mean, if you got nice, cheap coal, I mean, you're in the yeah. Midlands, you go home to Sheffield. I told you the other night, yeah. Barnsley Seam. Did you did you yeah. check it out, Glenn? I've had a brief look, sorry, yeah. Uh, check out Barnsley Seam, 8,700 likes, guys. Scott, do you remember ages ago that it used to just be one, one company, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was one. Well, you had the uh, the electric company. Yeah. And you had the gas company, and it was the local gas company. <laughs> we negotiate with these companies to ask us to get us energy. There. Why do we get a good deal? We well, I mean, them. I think the way to get a good deal is for the existing companies to realise we've got an yeah. alternative. Without us, could be nothing, would there? They're absolutely nothing. And I think the government need to say, look, give the people an alternative, and then these companies will have to think twice. Oh, I mean, the people always win eventually, yeah. you know, but it takes a bit of time. I mean, what's happening? You've had years and years and years of very capitalist government, very, very yeah. right wing. And now they've got themselves into a position of being able to uh, to rifle the till. I mean, Scott was a good spokesman, Scott, you weren't there. Well, yeah, he wasn't popular because he was putting salt on the tail of the government. So I'll yeah. tell you, another great man was Tony Benn, and I oh, yeah. met Tony Benn uh, in Barnsley on a May oh, yeah. Day on a May Day march. Do you, do you think, Scott, is you, do you think people have lost their uh, the backbone in a way? Well, no, I mean, I think that their backbone will return very, very quickly if they think that they're getting a rough deal. Yeah. 
やなサーサインクもやーすくやですあなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは優先、なら、あなたは Yeah, well, we need to get back to that because that's where your heat escapes. Get them all wrapped up and cut down on the use of the energy. And if everybody did that, we'd see a difference. I'll keep it warm, then, won't it? Sorry, that way. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, go back to results, natural resources, then before all these big companies came into it, then. Yeah. yeah, how's about this one, Glenn? Here's a beauty for you. Susan says, Scotty for PM. Mr. Martin think, says, Scotty's overqualified to be Prime Minister. <laughs> you could be a spokesman for the people, Scotty, though, couldn't you? You what, La? You could be a spokesman for the people. Well, well hopefully I am. And hopefully I always have been. Do some uh, digging kind of things, Scotty, you know. Don't do anything too uh, controversial, but just put yourself out there. I no, 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 nothing. I'm, I mean, I don't really do controversial. No. Some people think I did. Never. What about this? Okay. Here's, here's Nilly, Nilly Dave says, I want a bonnet like yours, Scotty. What age is appropriate to start wearing one? I'm 40. I really want one. I would say we should be wearing our first bonnet at 16. I mean, they come flat caps. Flat caps, are back in fashion. Flat caps yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sheffield, Barnsley, Dronfelt, yeah. Chesterfelt. That's what we're needing, Glenn. Glenn, I'm going to have to dash, love. We're nearly out of time. And You can't beat it, lad. Dinky do. Love you lots. Love to your family. What a top man. That's our Glenn. It's not just gas and electric. They've put up, they've doubled the standing charge in Scotland. Well, we'll need to sit down then, won't we? Right, we're going to have to dash. So there we go. Thank you for following us. If you knew how loved you are over in Ireland, Scotty Pinky. I adore Ireland. I wish I had several lives and I'd come and live in Ireland and spend most of my days in the old library at Trinity College, Dublin. Woo! Love Benny Hill. Scotty, thoughts on marriage? Ooh, that's for another night. We're just about to run out of time. A very good morning from Australia, Scotty. Treggs. Treggs, lovely to have you with us in Australia and to every single one of you. I can't thank you enough for tonight. Angela Crawford, I thank you for my beautiful red rose. It ain't half hot. Oh, it ain't half hot, Mum. How funny was that? Windsor Davis, Don Estelle as lofty. Uh, where's the best to get one? I've got a pea heed. Well, then you need a pea bonnet. That's what it's all about, I say to you. Right, we're going to run out of time. Uh, so there we go. Thank you so much. I play the common paper. Kevin, we'll get a tune going. You get your comb and paper ready. The only thing is you don't get the same toilet paper you used to get that was very good for the comb and paper. Uh, bring back Warren Mitchell. <laughs> Alf Garnett. Yeah, and what about Arthur Lowe? He was another absolute belter, I say to you. Guys, I'm going to have to say night-night to our beautiful TikTokers. I love you. There's not a thing you can do about that. Dinky do, stick out your tongue and say ta ta, TikTokers. Ta ta. There they are. There they go. The beautiful TikTokers. We say thank you to them, I say. And we've got uh, our lovely, lovely, lovely YouTubers. And we've got our lovely, lovely, lovely Facebook Live. And we've got our lovely, lovely, lovely Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue which is fantastic, and we say dinky-doo to every single one of you. Thanks very much for joining us tonight, folks. It's been an absolute blast. Wednesday night's random pop-up. You had no warning, and there you are. We've been on for one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. The big phone ends are Saturday night at 9 o'clock. My gas and electric is going up to £500 a month. Crazy. Six thousand pounds a year. That's a year's salary for for many people. Is that Mr. Martin from other years? No, Darren. 
I think that's another Mr. Martin. Scotty McCrew says, dinky do to every single one of you. Stick your tongue out, lads, and say ta-ta. Here we go, after three, three, ta-ta.